Hello, hello, good evening, everybody. Welcome to our English class. It's a, a pleasure to join you in this moment and ready to start our class. I know that um, we are actually, well, on time to start our class. And I expect that, that most of you uh, get ready to learn. Remember that this class has been recorded So we had to, you know, make sure that everything is actually great. Así que pues vamos al inicio. Thank you so much for your responsibility to join us right now in the class. I know that you are very busy. I know that some of you are tired, but motivation has to be up, right? Has to be at the top. And I'm pretty sure that your motivation is great, right? And did you have, did you have dinner, Justin Ano? Todavía no? Yes, you had dinner. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. So that's mean that you have full energy today. <laughs> so, 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 like trying, trying. Okay. Bien, but don't worry. The most important thing is that we are here. Estamos acá. Y pues un gusto eh, verles ya listos para estudiar inglés, para repasar. Realmente pues inglés hay que estudiarlo constantemente. Ustedes me preguntan a mí, hey, ¿hablas inglés? Yeah, I speak English. Pero no significa porque ya hablo inglés, ya es suficiente, ¿no? Yo tengo que practicar, tengo que estar escuchando. Tengo que estar haciendo ejercicios y es, es eh, en cuanto al idioma, porque como le digo, es un reto para nuestro país. Eh, es un reto para nuestro país eh, cuando no hablamos inglés constantemente, sino que todo nuestro entorno es en español. Entonces tenemos que irnos a la fuente. ¿no? Igual, ¿Y cuál es la fuente? Practice, communication, motivation, work, exercises, listening. The, the four main skills we have and it's actually the way that we have for learning. So let's, that is the way. But we are here just ready to practice. Okay, so before we start, I just want to ask you, what do you remember about the last class we studied? ¿Qué se recuerdan que estudiamos? What we did in the last class, I like need your help. So remember that, try to practice and also- The family, oh, the family members. Okay, what do you remember, Mario? Tell me about that. Uh, we talked about the father, the parents, the grandparents, uh, sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, aunt, uncle, cousin, nephew, niece, grandsons, granddaughter. That's correct. Yes, we we're talking about that. We we're talking about family, and that's that's the way. Um, because we were like socializing, uh, you know, some information, the relationship, like my mother, brother, sister, cousins. We we're discussing about that, and also we learned new vocabulary and we analyzed the parental, you know, process, the family tree, as we can call in English. Actually, it's the family tree. Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This class is going to be a little bit different because we will be practicing a little bit more conversations. As you know, um, I can tell you with property, with, you know, with accuracy. Eh, algo importante también de poder, de poder estudiar inglés, aparte de la gramática, es un poco acerca de la pronunciación. Hay muchas personas que hablan inglés. A lot of people speak English pero no todas las personas le dan el acento correspondiente al inglés. Así como hablan el español, así hablan el inglés. Entonces, eh, para eso pues hay que practicar un poco, tratar de modular la voz, tratar de hacer un cambio y pues y, y dando como más pronunciación al americano. El inglés americano, que es actually the, the, the language that is spoken here in America. In America, we speak English, English, uh, but American English. For example, in, you know, It's very different when we listen uh, British English is actually different. Entonces, vamos a estar practicando algunas conversaciones y vamos a trabajar en equipos, in small groups. And what is the main purpose? The main purpose is that we can have a conversation and also focus in the pronunciation. That is going to be one of the goals. So that's right. We're going to start and taking advantage of our time. We are 10 students right away. So that's very fascinating. Well, we have uh, formal greetings. Most of the time we used um, in informal conversations, 
we use colloquial expressions. Colloquial expressions are related to the way people speak in an informal way. They use informal grammar, informal vocabulary, informal expressions, and this is like Salvadorans speak. Entonces, el, el, nosotros hablamos muchas veces en un español informal, eh, que es, nosotros le llamamos coloquial, es colloquial. Entonces, eh, lo importante es que cuando aprendemos algo, pues tenemos que aprenderlo de la manera más formal, ya que pues nos va a servir para viajes, para negocios, para trabajo, for a lot of things. And uh, that's very important that we can um, talk about jobs. Y para eso, pues vamos a dar inicio eh, with this uh, part of the conversation. Quiero que siga conmigo la primera lectura. Uh, what is the conversation? Who are the people involved in this conversation? Look at this. Vamos con la primera. Quiero que pongan mucha atención. I want you to pay attention with that. Pay attention. Excellent. Right. So let's, let's try now. Entonces vamos, voy a pronunciarlo despacio y le vamos a dar el acento para que usted pueda escucharlo y trate de eh, modular la voz. Así que that is the way how we're going to work. Vamos a ver. Iniciamos. Good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Good morning, James. I am doing well. And you? I'm great. Thank you. This is my friend, Agne. She's thinking about applying to this college. She has a few questions. Would you mind telling us about the process, please? Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak with you. Please stop by my office next week. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Don't mention it. Hopefully, I will be able to answer your questions. Ok. Bien. ¿Lo escuchamos bien a la primera? ¿Me dicen yes or not? La vamos a leer una vez más. Y ustedes van a repetir después de mí cada frase. Pero quiero que, con el micrófono apagado, por supuesto, vayan siguiendo conmigo la lectura. Voy a ir uh, eh, leyendo línea por línea y usted va, va leyendo conmigo después de mí. All right. So, eh, micrófono apagado. Let's start now. One, two, and three. Good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Ok, y recuerden tener su cámara encendida. Es el requisito de Insofor y es importante que pues sigamos el llenamiento. Good morning, James. I am doing well. And you? I am great, thank you. This is my friend, Emma. She's thinking about applying to this college. She has few questions. Would you mind telling us about the process, please? Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak with you. Please stop by my office next week. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Don't mention it. Hopefully, I will be able to answer your questions.
okay, we, we actually have this conversation about Austin and also James and the Professor Austin. ¿Hay alguna palabra que les quedó duda cómo se pronunciaba para que la podamos hacer un backup y si no pasamos a la siguiente conversation? Luego, pues, usted la va a practicar con sus compañeros, pero necesitamos garantizar, pues, que la pronunciación sea correcta y también el acento. You know, cuando decimos, Professor, thank you so much for helping us. ¿Alguna palabra que les quedó en duda? Teacher. Yep. Sorry, sorry. Uh, professor. 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 Pro Professor. Teacher. Yep. And pleasure. It's a pleasure. Uh, it's, pleasure. it's a pleasure. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Hopeful. Hopefully. 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 Thank you. Okay, this is the first conversation. Pasamos a la siguiente. Me dicen yes or not. Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. Let's yes. all right, let's go on. This conversation is between is a formal introduction. This is the conversation between Margaret and Mr. Wilson and Dr. Smith. Margaret, Mr. Wilson, and Dr. Smith. It says, Mr. Wilson. I like you to meet Dr. Edward Smith. It's nice to meet you, Dr. Smith. Pleasure to meet you too. Dr. Smith is an economist. He just finished writing a book on international trade. Oh, that's my field too. I work for the United Nations. In the development program, by any chance, yes, uh, how do you guess? I read your articles on technical assistance. They are excellent. Let's try it again. Dr. Wilson, I like you to meet Dr. Edward Smith. It's, it's nice to meet you, Dr. Smith. Pleasure to meet you too. Dr. Smith is an economist. He just finished writing a book on international trade. Oh, that's my field too. I work for the United Nations. In the development program, by any chance? Yes, how do you guess? I've read your articles on technical assistance. They are excellent. Okay, questions about pronunciation? No questions. No? Yeah? And the last part, the Dr. Smith. Eh, donde dice el leer, tu artículo, es read. I've read. I've read. Uh, okay. I've read your articles. Eh, es el presente perfecto. Yo he leído en forma contractada. I've read. Your articles, y artículos es articles. Articles on technical assistance. Yes. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Uh, let's go on to the next conversation. Let's go. And also, this is the last one for this part. This conversation is between Jim, Charlie, and Mary. And la primera palabra es who, right? Who's the tall woman next to Barbara? That's her friend, Mary. Didn't you meet her at the Steve's party? No, I wasn't at the Steve, uh, Steve's party. Oh, then let me introduce you to her now. Mary, this is my friend, Jim. Hi, Jim. Nice to meet you. You too. Would you like a drink? Sure. Let's go to get one.
Okay, let's let's try it again. Okay, we, we say, who's the tall woman next to Barbara? Oh, that's her friend Mary. Didn't you meet her at the Steve's party? No, I wasn't at the Steve's party. Oh, then let me introduce you to her now. Mary, this is my friend Jim. Hi, Jim. Nice to meet you. You too. Would you like a drink? Sure. Let's go get one. Okay, questions about this the pronunciation? No question. Excellent. Okay, now this is the time to read the three and practice the three conversations. Remember that you had to try to give a different accent than the original ones we have in Spanish. Así que pues, eso es para nosotros como el reto de poder eh, darle un acento diferente, ¿no? De hablarlo así. Eh, nosotros lo vamos al español, estilo español, pero nosotros podemos hacer, modular la voz y tratar de darle un, un, un enfoque diferente. Por ejemplo, cuando usted dice, ah, yo le digo en inglés, ah, let me introduce you to her now. Entonces usted dice, ah, let me introduce you you to her now. Pero y si le cambias el acento, dices, then, oh, let me introduce you her now. Entonces el acento cambia un poquito. No lo mismo que yo le diga, ah, nice to meet you. Así como que, como español, oh, nice to meet you. Entonces ya le cambia usted. Would you like a drink? Oh, would you like a drink? Entonces ya usted va cambiando el acento. Bien, vamos a formar los breakout rooms y usted va a compartir estas eh, tres conversaciones con sus compañeros. En, y quiero que le den eso, quiero que le den el acento, quiero que le den un estilo diferente al que ustedes suelen eh, conversar, right? That's, that's the main point, that you can, like, produce the language. So, for that reason, we're going to create the breakout rooms, y ustedes pueden turnarse las conversaciones, pueden, eh, en equipos, y you no know, pueden ir eh, intercambiando, y eh, si hay alguna corrección o algo, pues ustedes eh, se pronuncia de esta manera. Y si no, también yo voy a estar moviéndome, y ustedes me llaman teacher, how do you pronounce this word? Así que, let's start. We are actually 14 right away, and we'll start right away. Let's go. Good luck. Okay. James o professor James James Evelyn okay ah, okay professor eh, usted o yo Miguel mm, yo está bien okay Emma sería yo entonces ah bueno bye. comenzamos entonces comenzamos bye okay good morning Professor Austin, how are you doing? Good morning, James. I'm doing, I am doing well. And you? 
I great, I great that I great. Thank you. This is my friend Emma. She is dining about preaching to this college. She has a few question. Would you mean telling is is about the process, please? Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am more than happy to speak to you. Please stop by my office next week. It's pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for help, help me us. Don't, don't mention it, mention it. Hopeful, hop, hopefully, I will able. I I will be able to answer your questions. Okay. Cambiamos de papeles. Ahora viene la otra, verdad? Sí. Margaret. Bueno, ay, Margaret. Yo voy a ser Mr. Wilson. Doctor Smith. Okay. Okay, Mr. Wilson, I like to meet you, Dr. Edward Edward Smith. It's nice to meet you, Dr. Smith. Sigue. Please, pleasure, pleasure to meet you too, Dr. Dr. Smith. In uh, economics, he who's finishes finishes his finishes writing a book on international trade. 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 Uh -huh. Trade. Uh -huh. Oh, that's my bill too. I work for the United Nations. In development, development program by any chance? Yes. How did you guess? I I will read your articles on technical assistance. They are excellent. Empieza siempre yo, Jim. Yo seré Charles. How are you doing? Uh, good morning, James. I am doing well, and you? I am great. Thank you. This is my friend Emma. She is she is thinking about applying to these colleagues. She has a free question. Would you mean telling us about the process, please? Hello, Emma. It's applause to meet you. I am more thank you. Happy to speak. With you, please stay by my office next week. Okay, it's a pleasure to meet to meet you, mm -hmm. Professor. Thank you, you you so much much for helping okay. us. Us, creo que se pronuncia. Us. Helping uh -huh. us. Don't okay. yes. mention it. Hopeful. No sé si siempre se pronuncia. Hopefully. 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 I will be, eh, no sé cómo se pronuncia esa, donde dice hable, no sé. I will be a... Uh, I will be able able to answer to answer your question. Okay. Repetimos la conversación o, o nos pasamos a la siguiente. Sí, cambiamos si quieren solo una vez. Ajá, y cambiamos eh, las partes, o sea, no sé quién va a ser James ahora. Eh, voy a ser yo el profesor. Okay. Profesor Austin, si quiere sea usted, James. Yo sería Emma, entonces. Uh -huh. 
Bye. Okay, comienzo. Good okay. morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Good morning, James. I am doing well. And you? I am free. Thank you. This is my friend Emma. She is taking a walk, a place to this college. She has a fan question. Will you ma will you mean Telly? No sé si se pronuncia Telly o Tay. Okay, okay Tally. As a boy, Tay Prosen, please. Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am more uh, them happy to speak with, with you. Please okay. stop by my office next week. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Um, va usted, compañera. Ah, yo, perdón. Uh, don't, <laughs> don't mention it. Hopefully. 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 I will be able to answer uh, ah, your yeah. question. Okay. Correct. Eh, okay, no sé si you. vamos a seguir a la segunda conversación. Digamos porque son... Ok, entonces yo seré Margaret. Y, y sería Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson, ok. Mr. Wilson, it is like you to meet Dr. Edward Smith. It's like it, Dr. Smith. Pleasure to meet you too. Dr. Smith is an economist. He has finished writing a book on international trade. Oh, that's my field too. I work for the United Na Nations. In the development program by any chance. Yes, how did you guess? I read your articles on technical assistance. They are excellent. Okay. Welcome, teacher. Hi. Uh, next. I am Charles. Charles. I am okay. I am married. Who's the tall woman next to Barbara? That's her friend Mary. Then you meet her at Stevens party. No, I wasn't at Stevens party. Oh, then let me introduce you, you to her now. Mary, this is my friend, Jean. Hi, Jean. Nice to meet you. You too. Would you like a drink? Sure. Let's go get one. Alguna recomendación, teacher? It's actually, I mean, it, it is great. I mean, I like the way you pronounce guys. And also the recommendation is like continue practicing, reading, reading until you get the, the accent. Um, es una estrategia. Por ejemplo, hay una palabra, yo la pronuncio y la pronuncio varias veces de modo de, de que suene más natural. Porque a veces cuando leemos es como que, ah, yes, because, lo hacemos como, como mecánico, right? Entonces es como que mecánico. Entonces, a medida que generamos lectura en inglés, vamos agarrando como la naturalidad para, para leer para alguna frase, alguna expresión. 
Eh, y es, es normal cuando iniciamos como beginners, como like pre-intermediate, pero a medida que pues practicamos un poco más, eh, se va haciendo más natural en nosotros. Digamos que eso era como, como el punto clave, pero muy bien, lo hicieron muy bien. I like it. Una, una pregunta, Ticha. Yep. Tell me. Eh, es recomendable, bueno, yo estoy llevando una materia de una maestría que me deja mucha lectura en inglés. La verdad es que no logro entender todo. Eh, pero sí es recomendable como que ir leyendo y al mismo tiempo ir pronunciando lo que voy leyendo en ese sentido. Claro, la lectura es... es, es... Aunque no lo entienda. ¿no? Eso, eh, a medida que usted va, va adquiriendo, va leyendo, va adquiriendo vocabulario nuevo, eso sí. O sea, tiene, con, a medida que va leyendo y tratando de entender, va adquiriendo nuevo vocabulario. Si es recomendable la lectura, es de, de lo mejor porque, uno, aprende vocabulario. Dos, aprende estructuras, porque la, la lectura tiene estructuras gramaticales. Tres, trabaja, eh, hay una parte que se llama coherence, que es la, la coherencia, es decir, el orden de las palabras, la estructura, las ideas, sus puntos, comas, y luego, pues, eh, la comprensión, ¿verdad? Right? Cuando usted puede practicar la pronunciación, la lectura, entonces eh, la lectura es muy vital en el proceso. Ok. Uh, well, we will go back because we need to continue guys working with the following exercises. So we go on to the main session. Okay, let's continue with the rest of the exercises. Um, congratulations for, for all of you that I could listen. You were pronouncing the words and also the phrases. Re, uh, practicing is very important because we focus in the pronunciation, in the accent, in the coherence of the structure. So it's actually great. We are going to continue, guys, uh, with the reading. And this is a reading and comprehension. For that, we will read an article. After reading the article, we had to answer some questions. For that reason, I want you to get your, take the material with you because we will need it. Um, si puede compartir las, las demás imágenes, las preguntas, las pueden compartir por el chat. Eh, ¿Alguien lo puede hacer? Por el grupo, las, las preguntas de esta lectura. No sé si quién, quién me puede ayudar. Le toma foto y la sube en el chat. Ahorita lo mando. Thank you so much. Bien, le damos a la lectura. Se llama My Wonderful Family. My Wonderful Family. So just follow the reading with me. It says, I live in a house. I live in a house. Yeah, so it says, I live in a house near the mountains. You say, digan conmigo en inglés, mountains. 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 Um, acuérdense que, bueno, para el inglés, uh, uh, mount, we say mount, mm. y la palabra ains es como mm, mountains, mountains, mm. mountains, mountains. Mount. 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 Las personas pronuncian como mountains, pero no, es mountains, porque es una palabra que tiene un silence voice. Entonces decimos, I live in a house near the mountains. I have Mount. two. I have two brothers and one sister. And I was born last. My father teaches mathematics. And my mother is a nurse at a big hospital. Ahí vemos la palabra hospital. Hospital. 
My brothers are very smart and work hard in school. My sister is a nervous girl, but she is very kind. My grandmother also lives with us. She came from Italy, Italy. When I was two years old, she has grown old, but she is still very strong. She cooks the best food. My family is very important to me. We do lots of things together. My brothers and I like to go on long walks in the mountains. My sister likes to cook with my grandmother. On the weekends, we all play board games together. We loved, we loved. Esta se pronuncia loved. Love. The louder, laughter. We loved, we loved and always have a good time. I love my family very much. This is a, a very a basic reading. So what do you think? Uh, questions about vocabulary? Teacher, when when the when they read uh, speak about the the sister is a very nervous girl, but she is very kind. What is the meaning kind? Kind is a person that you see her and she's better respectful with everybody, and at the same time, like show confidence, as we say in Spanish, like amable. Ah, okay. Una consulta. Tell me. En la parte donde dice ground all eh, me confunde porque son dos palabras eh, diferentes, ¿verdad? Porque dice ground, que es nacer, y all de, de mayor. O. Entonces unidas no, 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 no le encuentro lógica. Acuérdense que para el inglés no se, no se tiene que traducir tal cual es. Nosotros tenemos que contextualizarlo. Eh, la, estructura es, la estructura es presente perfecto. Entonces, eh, cuando yo digo uh, she has grown old, significa que ha envejecido. O sea, se contextualiza. Porque estamos hablando de my grandmother. Always lived with us and she came from Italy when I was two years old. Imagínense que vino de Italia cuando tenía dos años y pues se ha envejecido, but she's still very strong, pero todavía es muy, es muy fuerte. Entonces, eh, la palabra has grown old es ha envejecido. Gracias. Ya. Yeah. Y entonces por eso dice, she cooks best food y cocina la mejor comida. Claro, grandmothers son especialistas en la comida, así que we know that. Yes. Acuérdense que hay expresiones, por ejemplo, cuando nosotros queremos traducirlas tal a nuestro idioma, es difícil porque tenemos que contextualizarle o darle el significado nuestro, porque son dos idiomas diferentes. Entonces, cuando traducimos, ya sea si hay una interpretación o una traducción, tenemos que llevar la, el mensaje a nuestro contexto para que sea un poquito más natural. Bien, eh, no más preguntas. No more questions. No questions. Ok. Vamos a contestar las preguntas. Vamos a contestar las preguntas. Entonces, les voy a dar unos minutitos para que ustedes lo analicen by yourself. Y luego, pues, iremos contestándolas one by one.
no, the teacher say but one by one. Okay, almost ready? Almost ready or not yet? Yes, yes. 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 Wow, yes, nice. Uh, who wants to help me to read the equation number one? Quem me quiere ayudar a leer la pregunta uno? My mom is... And the answer is? A nurse. 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 Yes, nurse. Yeah, she's a nurse. Okay, question number two. The answer is my house in near my house is near ten mountains. 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 Yeah, mountains. 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 Muy bien. Number three, uh, the answer for the number three is? How old oh, was boy. I when my grandmother my grandmother Two years old. Two years old. Two years old. Two years old. Not too bad. Two years old. Two years old. Muy bien. Question number four, the answer is? On the weekends, we? Weekends, we? we Play board, play board together. Yes, play board together. Yes, play. Yes, that's the answer. And the number five is. My sister is nervous. Nervous. Yes, is nervous. That's correct. 
Let's continue with the next one. Okay, great job. So it's correct. Let's go with the next one. It's a presentation. My name is. So follow with me the reading and we answer together because of the time. Hi, eh, si le pueden tomar también fotos a estas preguntas, eh, las pueden compartir en el chat. Les agradecería mucho. Bien, decimos, uh, sigamos, escuchen la lectura. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is John Smith. I am 19 and I'm a student in college. I go to college in New York. My favorite courses are geometry, French, and history. English is my hardest course. My professors are very friendly and smart. It's my second year in college now. I love it. I live in a big house on the Ivy Street. It's near the college campus. I share the house with three other students. Their names are Bill, Tony, and Paul. We help each other with homework. On the weekend, we play football together. I have a younger brother. He just started high school. He is 13 and, he, and lives with my parents. They live in Mulberry Street in Boston. Sometimes they visit me in New York. I am happy when they visit. My mom always brings me sweets and candy when they come. I really miss them too. Okay, questions about vocabulary? No hay preguntas? No. No, it's, it's no teacher. Thank you, Jenny, Adriana. Yes. Tell me. Okay, now uh, you can uh, read the article and also answer the questions and we will socialize the answers together. Okay, lo leemos y respondemos las preguntas. Y no se les olvide enfocarse en la pronunciación. Y decimos, hi, nice to meet you. My name is John Smith. I am 19 and a student in college. I go to college in New York. And my favorite courses are geometry, French, and history. English is my hardest course. My professors are very friendly and smart. It is my second year in college now. I love it. I live in a big house on Ivy Street. And it's near the college campus. I share a house with three other students. Their names are Bill, Tony, and Paul, and we help each other with the homework. On the weekend, we play football together. I have a younger brother, and he just started high school. He is 13 and he lives with my parents. They live in Mulberry Street in Boston. Sometimes they visit me in New York, and I'm happy when they visit. My mom always brings me sweets and candy. When they come, I really miss them too. Okay, uh, answer these questions.
Okay, let's um, socialize the answers. What about the number one? Who wants to help me to respond the first? Where does, does John Smith go to college? Where were you? New York. New York. New York. New York. New York. New York. Okay. Yeah, New York. That's okay. Interesting. What about the equation number two? What is John Smith? Are the scores? English. English, right? English. 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 That is the hardest. hardest. It's English. The hardest course. The hardest course. Or we also can say. The most difficult, the most difficult, that's the hardest. So, or challenging. So you can say challenging, difficult, hardest. But there are some other languages that are, are very complicated. For example, Chinese. Imagine say the Chinese language, the Russian language, Arabic language. Los idiomas árabes ya tienen otra, otras raíces o so, uh, very dif difficult. English is easy. Eh, para nosotros en inglés tiene que ser fácil. De hecho, el, incluso la gramática es mucho más sencilla. Nuestra gramática es más complicada que la gramática inglesa. Eh, number two. I'm sorry. Number three. I'm sorry. Who shares a house with John Smith? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bill, Tony, and Tony, Paul, and Paul. Bill, Tony, and Paul. Bill, Tony, and Paul. Yes. Eh, nombres bien americanos, right? Bill, Tony, Bill, Paul. Tony, Paul. Nicknames. Son, son nicknames. De Anthony. Also de Tony, Anthony, you know. Bill, William, Paul. So, you know. And the next one. How old is John Smith, younger brother? Brother. Four. Oh, John Smith, Four. 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 14. 14, yes, 14. That's okay, that's 14. And the next one. What, what does John and Smith, John Smith mom write when the visit? When the visit? And, and candy. Sweet and candy. And candy. And candy. Sweet and candy, um, yes, yes. that's candy. right. Yeah, that's, that's that's definitely great. So you can see here that it's very important uh, also reading. I recommend you to take a short time to read. Es una combinación de lecturas. Trate de leer porque la lectura es importante. Nos genera más vocabulario. Nos genera más estructuras. Es decir, cuando leemos, las estructuras eh, ya están plasmadas. Entonces, vamos siguiendo como un orden natural. Entonces, la lectura es importante. Use recursos, aplicaciones que nos sirvan, tutoriales. So, we have a lot of information that we have. Antes, el, el inglés antes, el, el inglés era un poco más complicado. Porque las personas no tenían muchos recursos, más que un diccionario. Y pues, si estar en una clase o estar eh, eh, con personas que hablaran inglés a su alrededor, so it was like easier. Ahora, el inglés, aprender un idioma y, y el inglés es mucho más fácil. Tenemos muchos recursos que antes no existían. Bueno, cuando yo estudié inglés hace bastante, no había ni aplicaciones de las que tenemos ahora, que por ejemplo, translators, no había aplicaciones así, sino que eh, aprendimos diccionarios básicos y lo que había en internet, pues, era lo que utilizábamos. Pero hoy es mucho más fácil. Hay aplicaciones, apps, hay tutorials, Also, some recorded. Hay páginas donde hay videos donde explican. So, hay una variedad de recursos que nos pueden servir. Plataformas, English platforms. So we have a lot of resources that maybe could be very helpful. Um, entonces, para que podamos ir como investigando y eso nos va a generar más. Es sencillo. Mientras usted estudia más, el aprendizaje es más rápido. Es decir, si usted estudia más seguido, va a aprender más. Pero mientras menos estudie, el aprendizaje se vuelve más lento, más pausado, porque como no avanza en lo que estudia, estudia algo y lo estudia a los 3, 4 días, entonces no va a avanzar. Esa es la diferencia entre alguien que puede aprender inglés en 7, 8 meses, alguien que puede pasar 1, 2 o 3 años y no aprende. Es por el tiempo que le dedica y mientras más, le, más tiempo le dedica, más. Esto es como ir al gimnasio, les decía. Si usted va al gimnasio seguido, pues se va a ver los resultados. Pero si no va al gimnasio, pues entonces no se ven resultados. 
Y así pasa con el inglés. En la práctica, that's very valuable. Ok, so we conclude the class today. Espero que puedan culminar la parte 4 en la plataforma. Y nos quedamos ya la próxima semana para el cierre de, 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 este, de esta parte. Y, y seguimos con la práctica. Yes, uh, Maisie. Sí, teacher, fíjese de que yo tengo una duda. A mí me cayó un mensaje con respecto a la plataforma diciéndome que tenía hasta el jueves para, para completarla, ¿verdad? Pero fíjese que yo tuve pro, algunos problemas y por lo mismo no me pude conectar ayer. Entonces no la he completado. No sé si tengo todavía oportunidad. Eh, creo que sí. Creo que sí tendría. In, inténtelo porque no creo que le niegue el acceso. En dado caso no puede, pues me escribe. Um, vaya, está bien, gracias. Ok, bueno, entonces eh, ánimo y pasen una feliz noche a cada uno de ustedes. Hey, good night, teacher. Thank good you, night. you too, bye thank bye. you so much. Good thank night, you. Teacher. It's a beautiful evening. Yeah, you too, thank you so much. Very kind. Good, good night. night. Good night, you too. Bye bye.